Okay, Lee, so for the first thing I'm trying to do with uh, like these videos, our news coverage this weekend, is kind of ram home to local people like what kind of track they've got here. I think yeah. this is a pretty uncommon facility, so what are, what are your first impressions? Um, is, it, is this your first time here? Uh, I did make a trip out here last year okay. for a race, um, but the track is, in, I mean, it's been under here for a year now. It's definitely made some improvements on the actual track itself, and you could tell even from the moment that they were sending out pictures though, that this was going to be a great facility. They put a lot of money into it and the whole complex is really nice. There's not a lot of places that have big grandstands like this, a nice pump track, a super cross hill and a regular hill and the UCI Commission getting ready to host a world championships right. you know, in a few years and a World Cup this year. So uh, it's definitely put a lot of work into this and it's showing the track's awesome. Not a lot of people have the opportunity to train at a facility like this and um, yeah, it's definitely a good spot. Right, and uh, I guess Mike King is kind of in charge of BMX here, so I guess people around here, he might be able to go to the grocery store and nobody know him, but, yeah. um, you know, that's that seems like somebody who uh, riders would be maybe glad that he's in charge of stuff here. Yeah, Mike used to work, uh, I live out at the Olympic, near the yeah. Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista now in California, and he used to work out there and run the facilities out there with our Olympic team and was our director going through the Olympics and everything when I went, and yeah, he definitely, he's been around bikes his whole life, and knows what people are looking for and stuff and the riders obviously feel a bit connected and they can talk to them about stuff so yeah it's a good good guy that to, guy to have out here getting it off its feet and stuff and I think just the, having the city backing it as well as it is is huge though um, it's, a, it's a team effort not any one person and they've really do, done a good job out here sure sure and so with the uh, Inclusion in the Olympics of 2008, you know, this track here, I mean, it's kind of BMX, I think, coming out of the shadows a little bit, coming out of that X Games label a little bit. How about, well, but how about specifically, like, women's BMX? You know, what, where's the state of that right now? You know, I think BMX globally is really starting to take off, like yeah. the racing side of it, not right. just freestyle and that. And it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit still down in the U.S., just from the fact of sheer numbers, it's hard to break into that top four and sure. cycling and that, and, and Olympic sports in general have a hard time breaking into that mold in U.S. in the U.S. market. Um, but overall, definitely improvements, and you know the talent pools continue to rise. The elite women side of it is just growing, and you can have like today we have a national championship race right here. There's gonna be seven girls in the gate that are really good, can ride the track solid, and they can go away to a World Cup and be world class competitors. So. Yeah, it's definitely growing, and people are taking to it, taking it seriously. The training and professionalism is gaining, gaining momentum, and I just hope that with another Olympic cycle, we can hopefully bring home uh, the U.S.'s first gold medal and really just try to put it in the limelight for the mainstream media. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, I, I think we like winners in the U.S. So. Yeah, yeah, so, it's just hard to compete with when you've got you know gymnastics and Michael Phelps winning eight medals. Yeah, and it's yeah. just hard to break that mold. So we definitely need to put on a show, and people. I mean, globally, like I said, it's taken off, and people have really taken to it. It's just hard to break into that U.S. market, so we just need to make sure that we, you know, are promoting it with places like this, that the whole city's getting behind it, promoting it to the schools and the kids, and, you know, I've never met someone who didn't love watching it once they sure, saw it. right, and, right. Uh, I know my hometown back in Minnesota and a lot of the state of Minnesota were back in BMX 100% of the Olympics and whole public libraries full of everything and that and it's definitely gaining momentum. It just needs to get in that. We need that gold medal and that, that winning status and a smiling face to, to show the world. Right, right. And so for you personally, I know uh, I think 2012 Olympics didn't end the way you wanted them to, but but uh, <laughs> to put it lightly. <laughs> um, so where are you right now a year, a year away from, you know, hopefully qualifying and, and giving it another shot? Yeah, I... I Definitely had a learning experience in yeah. London, and I had a, a rough. Uh, I was I was lucky, not lucky, but put a lot of work in, and I made the Olympic team, and it was a good shot for me to even be there and be a competitive form. Didn't get what I wanted, and I think I grew a lot from it and learned a few things. And I can definitely see why people aren't successful the first time they go to the Olympics. Sure. A lot, it's a little overwhelming. And now a year up from this next one, I think. I've got a lot better idea what I'm getting myself into, the work that goes into it, and what little things are important, what things maybe aren't as important, and um, yeah, it's definitely giving me an advantage, I'd say, and physically, mentally, I'm probably in the best shape of my life, so yeah, it's good. I mean, all the other girls are riding good, too, though, so can't cut anybody out. Right.